are becoming overweight or obese, exercising less, and eating unhealthy foods. Latest studies indicate 63.1% of Americans are overweight or obese. 33 and a third percent of all children are obese. Atherosclerosis is a disease that we are aware of that affects the coronary arteries. But did you know that it also causes hardening and narrowing of the arteries in our legs? This is commonly referred to as peripheral artery disease and And now for something completely different. Today. So she, uh, her name is Mrs. Cation. She's a 50-year-old widow. She lives with her son. We're following up on a foot ulcer related to um, arterial occlusive disease. Mrs. Cation is a smoker. Smoker. Um, she has a history of type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure. She's got elevated cholesterol as well, so that's where you'll come into play. Uh, the purpose of our visit will be to assess her ulcer uh, as well as see how she's managing her peripheral vascular disease and see how well she's managing her home care plan. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and do our assessment now. I'll go ahead and do oh, that now. Okay. And then we'll talk a little bit about how you're doing and oh. then Chloe can have a few, okay. few minutes with you as well, okay? How's the ulcer on your toe feeling? Oh, it's doing all right. It's a little bit red, but uh, and it, it hurts. But it hurts. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, let's take a quick look at it. Okay. Okay. These socks feel a little too tight. I think that. Uh, yeah. Oh. It's real. You really need to uh, wear some socks that are cotton, well insulated to keep your feet warm, but not so tight as to cut off any, Ooh, you know, yeah. restrict any blood flow. We want to make sure that your feet, all the way down your toes, are getting plenty of blood flow. Okay. Okay. I'll okay. Get some new let's take a look. I feel like I'll have a podiatrist call. <laughs> this is pretty typ typical of what an ulcer looks like related to peripheral arterial disease. Claudia, so I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about diet and okay. exercise today. Right. I know that your nurse, Patty, talked to you already about smoking and she she's going to give you information about that. Stop smoking. Yeah, I'm sure she has some great information to help you with that. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about diet. Tell me okay. what a typical breakfast is for you. Well, my son is so good. He brings me an Egg McMuffin every morning and my donut. I've got my coffee. I have a cigarette. And I'm the happy girl. Well, that's very nice of your son. Yes. I, I do want to point out for you that nutrition is so important with Pad. Uh -huh. And I have brought lots of information for you to help oh. you make some healthier food choices. Mm -hmm and just to hopefully help your condition. And as far as your breakfast is concerned, and I also brought it a food journal, so we'll be going over that on our next visit, but we want to make sure that you're cutting down on your refined sugars. Oh. Using meats, and as far as your What's in your McDonald's egg bag? Egg McMuffin. Egg, egg McMuffin, McMuffin. Yeah, you could so switch, good. you can make substitutions, you can use wheat bread. Okay. Uh, leaner meats, turkey. Turkey? So I like turkey. Good. So there's lots of things we can do. We want to limit your, your caffeine intake. Oh. And how about water? Do you drink water? You know, I don't drink water. I have my coffee in the morning and then I have my Diet Coke in the afternoon. So we want to get you to try to increase your water intake. Okay. At I least eight glasses of water a day, mm -hmm. and just drink, drink a smaller cup of coffee. You know, reduce gradually. Any any little bit's going to be helpful for you. And I like my sweets. Okay. And how about exercise? What do you do for exercise? No, I don't exercise. Every time I walk, maybe ten minutes, my legs hurt so back, bad I have to come back. Mm. You know that's very common with Pat. It is. It is very common. However, walking and exercise is so important to improving your circulation. So everything you can do to help gradually improve your exercise or try to add a little bit into your daily routine is going to be helpful for you. When you, a walking program is perfect, mm -hmm. so when you start walking, you walk into the point where you feel some pain yes. and you take a little rest. Oh, take a break. Take a little rest and then 
walk again. Okay. And just gradually work up a little bit each day until you're walking at least 30 minutes a day. 30 minutes, wow. That would be helpful for you. But start slowly and gradually. As I said before, oh, and I do want to dress your shoes. I know the nurse spoke to you she about did. that. She but did. when you're going out walking, you want to make sure that you're wearing some comfortable walking shoes mm -hmm. and non-restrictive socks. That'll be good for your circulation as well. Right. Okay. And then I have brought some information for you to make some healthy lifestyle choices and nutrition choices to your nutrition. I've got a lot of work to do. You do, but hopefully it'll be helpful for you. Thank you. You're welcome.